guys, it's Lindsay and welcome back to my channel. So today it is uh, Monday, August 12th um, and it is currently week three? Two or three of the Newt's uh, readathon. Um, I am not doing that great. I need to catch up on a lot of things. I need to do a lot of things. <laughs> um, but I figured I would give you a little bit of an update. So today I have done a lot, you guys. I really have. So um, last week I was planning on getting to page 500 of Kingdom of Ash. That didn't happen. So today I decided that I was going to listen to as much as I could while at work. Chapter 41 was on page 343. And today I made it to page 523 so I read this much or rather listened to this much so now I'm on chapter 61 I have gotten through a good chunk of my book and I was really proud of myself so now I only have about um, 15 hours of the audiobook left let me just verify that for you guys because um, I don't want to lie. I have 15 hours and 41 minutes left, so really proud of myself. Um, I figured I could probably finish it this week, although I'm not going to force myself. If I don't feel like listening to it, I'm not going to, but it is getting very good and very action-packed at the moment, so I have a feeling I will be listening to a lot more of it tomorrow. Um, but I did listen to about, I want to say about five hours of it today. So I'm really proud of myself. Uh, so my plans for this week are basically the same as last week um, with an added bonus of an additional book. So my plan is to get to majority of this. Um, with me being on page 500 and something, I am over halfway. So I have this much left of the book. Um, again, this book is almost a thousand pages, so again, I'm not going to force myself to read the rest of this, but if I do, great. So I'm really enjoying it, you guys. It's probably one of my favorite books of the year so far, and I'm only halfway through it. Um, and then my other plan is to finish Sea Witch, because I did start it. I'm only 34 pages in. It is a quick read. Um, so I'm hoping to get to this and I'm hoping to get to another book this week. Although, like I said before, I do not want to force myself to read. I want to be entertained. I don't want to just read for reading, you know? Um, so this is going to be finished. And then I'm also planning on finishing Mustang Sally because I have not finished that yet. And I literally have like 25% left of my Kindle book. So that is for sure will be finished whether or not it'll be today or tomorrow I don't know I couldn't tell you when it's gonna be finished but it will be finished this week so this week should be relatively easy um, Wednesday I do have to work um, on at my second job so that day I probably won't get so, uh, too much reading done um, after work but you never know um, and then Friday and Saturday I also work um, my second job and then Sunday I have off but Sunday I'm going to visit my friend and see your little baby again because I am in love with that baby she's so stinking cute um, and I can't wait to see her so those are my plans for this week you guys I am kind of ambitious but I want to finish at least two books this week that'd be great if not three so with that being said this has been a little lengthy update for a Monday. I know it's crazy. It's already a Monday, but um, I will definitely keep you guys posted with my reading progress. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, so it is about 7 p.m. on Tuesday, August 13th. Um, just got home from work about 10, 15 minutes ago, so haven't done too many things as of yet just took out some dinner um, to defrost before I go ahead and make it but I wanted to give y'all a little bit of an update so um, I did not listen to a lot of um, 
Kingdom of Ash as I wanted to. I still did get a good chunk of the way. Um, I did start on chapter 61, um, and I am now on chapter 72. So that is about 100 pages. I mean, it almost is, because chapter 63 is on 523. Chapter 72 is on page 620. So I almost made that 100-page mark for the day. So really proud of myself. Um, it is getting so action-packed and so exciting and so good. Um, but again, I'm just trying to listen to it at work while I'm getting things done so I can do two things at once. Um, I don't I don't know if I'm going to finish it this week, guys. Don't hate me. But I, I don't know if I'm going to finish it this week. Um, I have a very good chance of finishing it because I, I don't really have... I, I have a lot left, but I don't have an extreme amount left. So... We're going to go ahead and see how much I can get done this week. I do have three more days to finish as much as I can um, until Friday. And then Saturday, of course, is going to be a busy day, and so is Sunday. So I don't plan on reading too much on those two days, but we will see how far I get. But I'm really excited. This book is so good. Um, another note is I have... Um, continued reading um, Mustang Sally so I only have about two chapters left of that so I plan on finishing that tonight um, I might give you an update but since I've already put out a review on it I really don't know if I need to say anything more about it I mean it, it is what it is it's a good book it's just not something that I would normally pick up on an everyday basis so um, yeah, so those are the two things that I have planned so far. I have not read any more of Sea, of sea Witch by Sarah Henning. Um, I might get to a couple chapters tonight, but we'll just have to see. I do have to edit my video, so I might read a little, a couple of chapters of Sea Witch while that is um, rendering and posting. So. Anyway, <laughs> that is my update, you guys. Sorry if it's a little dark. Um, it's about to storm here in Dallas, so it's about to get a little crazy outside, um, but we need it desperately. It has been 100 to 105 the last couple of days, so it's been warm, so we need the little cool down. Um, but anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to get to the things that I need to get to tonight. Um, but slowly but surely, guys, I am chugging my way through this book so I have a little bit left um, I mean it looks like a little bit but in all reality it is 400 pages <laughs> this book is so huge you guys so I have about 12 and a half hours left of the audiobook um, so if I can listen to about three hours a day for the next three days or four hours a day for the next three days I will be really happy and I will finish this book so we will see what happens um, I have been reading or have been listening to about four hours a day um, I started around 1 30 ish today um, and then I stopped it at 6 so that was about four and a half hours um, so not too you know shabby but we'll see what I end up doing for the next couple of days. So anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. I need to get working on my video, and I will see you guys later. Hey guys, so it is 11.50 right now, um, p.m. on Tuesday. Um, so I got a little bit more of the way into Sea Witch. I am now on page 70, which is chapter 9. Um, it's an interesting book. It's not grabbing my attention like I thought it was going to. Um, I can see kind of where the story is going. <laughs> Um, and I feel like I'm right. Um, so I guess we'll just see what I actually think of it. Um, but yeah, I haven't done too much. I read about 40 pages. I edited my video. I got that uploaded. Um, and it's posted. So that's good. But I don't know, y'all. It's, it's been a weird night. <laughs> Uh, and um, I don't 
really know what to do about my book. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish it. I don't know if it's really capturing my attention enough for me to finish it. So I guess we'll just have to see. Um, I am only 70 pages in and I usually give books about 100 pages to, gra to grab my attention before I'm like either give up or just decide not you know if I am gonna read it or if I'm not so I am kind of incoherent <laughs> it is almost midnight and I have to go to work in the morning so I have to get up pretty early but I'm tired so I'm gonna head off to, to bed now um, I don't think I'm gonna read anything else tonight uh, before I, I actually do go to sleep but I do have some HDTV on right now in order for me to, to calm down and get ready for bed but I will talk to you guys in the morning. I don't know if it's, I'm going to I don't know if I'm going to vlog tomorrow because tomorrow's going to be a really hectic day. Um and I am supposed to be working my second job tomorrow night and I won't be getting home until probably about 9:15, 9:30. So I definitely probably won't be vlogging tomorrow, but if I do it'll be like a quick little update at the very end of my day. So with that being said, um if I see you tomorrow, I see you tomorrow. If not, I will definitely see you guys on Thursday. So I'll see you later. Hey guys, so it is Wednesday. It is 9.24 p.m. Um, I just got home from my second job. I did have to go in for a couple of hours tonight to help out um, and just close the store and whatnot. But I did want to give you an update before I start my evening routine. Um, so I got a lot of reading done while I was at work today. Um, I was listening to my book, obviously, but um, I have, let's see if my phone will turn on. I have seven hours and 24 minutes left of Kingdom of Ash, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I've listened to about six hours today, so I'm slowly but surely getting through this book, you guys. So today I started on chapter 72, which was page 620, and now I am on chapter 92, which is page six, uh, 765. So I, le I read a little over 100 pages today. Um, so really excited. It is getting so good. It's so intense. I'm like shit's about to hit the fan and it's gonna be amazing so i have a little bit left of this book um i'm really not ready for it to be over i have like 200 pages left and i'm just really sad i don't want it to be over because this is the seventh book um i'm hoping there's gonna be like more books on the side characters from this series but i highly doubt it because it is so um, broken up into so many characters already so I'm not fully expecting to have a lot more books of this series but we will see so that's my update for now you guys I'm um, not gonna read any more tonight if I do it'll be finishing um, Mustang Sally because I am so desperately close to be finishing that but I do need to shower tonight and I'm about to go do that um, and then I'm just going to relax for the rest of the night until it is bedtime. I'm going to try to go to bed early tonight because I didn't go to bed early last night and I was actually really late to work this morning. So with that being said, of course I will keep you posted with my reading updates and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is 10.24 p.m. on Thursday, August 15th. Um... I'm sorry if the lighting is terrible, but um, it is late and I don't want to have so many lights on in my house. Um, but I wanted to give y'all an update on my reading progress for the day. So today I started on chapter 92 of Kingdom of Ash, which was page 765. And I am now on chapter 110 and that is page 876. So... Y'all, I am in the final stretch of this book. I have a little less than four hours to go. I am kind of sad, but at the same time, I'm really excited to get to it because it is so, like, we're getting into, like, the fighting and the end of the war and all of this other stuff, and so it, it's 
some things are happening that are sad and then some things that are happening that are just like really exciting um so this book by far ha is the best in the series it and the little bitty teaser crossover that they give us from uh, um the A Court of Thorns and Roses series, like, oh my gosh, you, it's so, it's amazing. I love that little tidbit. Um, but, yeah, so that has been it for today, y'all. I have not done anything. Well, I filmed a video and I uh, uploaded that today. I'm currently making a book outlet order because the whole, there's a big sale going on and it ends tomorrow. So I need to make that order tomorrow um, in order to have it for my book haul at the end of the month. Um, but anyway, that's it for now, guys. I don't plan on reading any more tonight. Um, I haven't quite decided if I'm going to continue on with Sea Witch because I'm not really enjoying it. Um, but... I need to finish it so it's kind of like an internal battle of do I or don't I but my number one priority for this week is to finish Kingdom of Ash and I have a feeling I'm going to be able to do that tomorrow um, because I literally only have like a little under four hours I think it's like three hours and 50 minutes left of the book so really excited and then I can move on to listening to Renegades because that is another book that I need to listen to um, in order to get the rest of my books going. So with that being said, you guys, tonight is not very exciting. I'm not going to give you another update because it is already 1030. So I will just talk to you guys tomorrow. Hi, friends. So yes, I just got home from work. Yes, I changed my clothes for the day already and yes I did finish Kingdom of Ash today <laughs> you guys oh my word I do not have words to describe this book it was so good so well paced and I'm just like shocked because in reality of this whole book like this whole series yes there's seven books but it's literally like the the time frame from book one to book seven is like a little over a year. So I have put so much time and effort into this series and I'm so happy with the conclusion. I'm actually really happy with it. I know a lot of people had like mixed feelings about the conclusion, but it is a very satisfying conclusion and she left it open ended. So if she did write another book, it wouldn't be like trying really hard to reconnect with the world because she did leave it open because there are a few questions that I have um, that weren't answered at the end, but that she kind of leaves it open for you to come to your own conclusion about that. So I am so happy that I finished this book this week. I did not think I was going to. I thought for sure I'd maybe get like to page 700 or something but I did not realize how invested I would get into it because the last like 200 or so pages is combat it's like the battle it's the war it's what ha what's happening with everybody and it's just so good I, I thoroughly enjoyed this um and I'm kind of sad to see this series end but I know Sarah J Moss has so many more books in store for us with different characters and different worlds that I'm just really excited. Um, I know a lot of people don't like Sarah J Moss because she doesn't really write that many diverse books. Like she writes, you know, she doesn't really have a lot of diversity and it. it's pretty much white people all the time and like that's fine if that's what, you know, you're into and everything. And I don't really care. Every author has their own writing style and every author has, you know, they, they write books that they believe in. And I am 100% a fan of Sarah J. Moss and this book thoroughly blew me away. And I feel like I'm going to be in a book hangover. But you know what? In order to get through that, I'm just going to move on to my next one. And so that, with completing this book, you guys, I actually completed... 
um, acceptable in Defense Against the Dark Arts for the Newt's Readathon. So now I can move on to Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover, and I'm really excited. And then I'm also going to be listening to another audiobook to get my A in Herbology. Um, and I'm going to be listening to Renegades, but I believe I'm going to be starting that next week. So I should have that one done next week because that one's only about a 16 or 17 hour audiobook. And since Sarah J. Moss's book was 33 hours, I think I can finish Renegades next week. So we can only hope. So slowly but surely getting through these books. Um, like I said before with Sea Witch, I really have no idea if I am going to be continuing on with this book. It is kind of picking up a little bit, so we'll see. I might read a couple more chapters today before I do end up having to go to my second job in a couple of hours. So maybe I'll read a couple of chapters, maybe not. Chances are I'm probably just going to sit here and watch Netflix and relax for the next couple of hours before I do inevitably have to go back to work. So, um, y'all, with that being said, I'm really proud of myself that I was able to finish Kingdom of Ash because... Where I started at the beginning of this week and like finishing it now, I'm just like so in shock, <laughs> like so in shock. Um, so I'm happy with it. I'm really excited. I loved this book. I loved this conclusion. Um, and I just really want to see where Sarah J. Moss is going to go with the rest of her writing career. And um, yeah, so with that being said, you guys, I need to go finish... Uh, Mustang Sally for my A in Transfiguration um, and then maybe start on maybe someday. So we're going to get through this newts. I am determined to finish the, these books for this readathon. Um, but anyway, I'm going to eat my lunch because I'm really hungry and I will talk to you guys later on. Hey guys, so it is almost 1am on Saturday, August 17th. Um, so just to give y'all an update, it has been a while since a book has kept me up this late, um, but I have started Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover, and I am thoroughly engrossed by this book. I don't know why, but it just sucked me in from the very like first chapter, and I have not put it down since. I am 130 pages in. This book is not very long. It's 366 pages, so I don't even know how to comprehend this book because there's just so many things that happen, and there's a huge twist that I didn't see coming, and I don't know. It's just so good. So I have a feeling that I'm going to finish this book this weekend because it is so totally engrossing me right now and I can't put it down but it is almost one o'clock in the morning and I do have to go to work tomorrow um at 12 30 so I can sleep in a little bit to make up for the fact that I'm going to bed real late but um I have sleep in my throat <laughs> and my voice sounds very sleepy um, and I am about to go to bed, so I turned on my TV, um, cause I fall asleep with my TV on. I know that's weird, but it times out after like three hours or something like that, so I usually hit my REMs by the time the TV goes off, so, um, I thought I'd give y'all an update, uh, but yeah, I'm really tired. I'm gonna go, but you guys, if you have not read this book... Please do. I know, like, Colleen Hoover is one of those authors that a lot of people are very skeptical about uh, because she's written some not so good books and she's written some fantastic books, so she's like a hit or miss author. For me, I've always really enjoyed reading her books, whether it be a bad one or really, whether it be a really good one. Um, and I'm only 130 pages into this book and I can tell I'm already going to love it because I can't put it down. So, God, I just don't know what to say because it's just so good. I don't want to put it down for the night, but I know if I don't go to bed right now that I am going to be cranky at work tomorrow. So, I am going to go and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hey 
Hey guys, so it is now Saturday, August 17th. I know I did an update at ridiculous hour this morning, but it is 6 o'clock now. I just got home from work. Well, that's technically a lie. So I actually got called into work a little early today. I was supposed to go in at 12.30, but I ended up going in at 10, um, which means I got to leave at 4 instead of 6.30. So that's great. Um, I went and got my nails done, uh, so that's done for the week, and now I'm just going to sit here and read my book a little bit um, before I hop in the shower. Um, so right now I am still on page 130 of Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. I'm really enjoying this book, you guys. Like, I didn't think I was going to enjoy it as much as I am, but... It's relatively interesting, and I like it. So I am going to read this for a little bit um, before I hop in the shower, which I think I'm going to do around 7, so that leaves me with about an hour of reading. So I'm going to do that and then relax for the rest of the night, um, shower, obviously, and then probably either finish this book or just continue on reading it, and then I'll definitely finish it tomorrow. So um with that being said, you guys, it's been a crazy weekend already, and I am so glad that I have tomorrow off to do whatever I want, um, which means I'm probably going to clean this apartment from top to bottom and go to Costco because I have no food in my house, um, and I desperately need um, to eat food for until in order to live. So um, with that being said, you guys, I am going to get to my reading, and I'll see you later. Good morning guys. So it is 8.20 a.m. on Saturday, uh, Sunday morning um, and I have an update. Um, I went to bed very late last night um, because I could not put maybe someday down. I finished it at like 1.30 in the morning um, and I'm still tired but my body woke me up early so... It's 10 tends to what hap to be what happens in the morning, especially when I go to bed late, but it's not a big deal. So I thoroughly enjoyed this book. I literally, I could not put it down. There were so many twists and turns and it, it was so refreshing to watch a couple fall in love over a long period of time. Um, granted, there was a lot of things that I did not like about this book, but overall it was a really great read. I probably give it about a four star. Um, and some of the things about this book are just so good. Like, um, the main characters, they are, um, one of them's a musician and the other one's a lyricist. Like, she writes the lyrics to his songs, like, because he was having writer's block. He, like, she helped him create this beautiful music. But the crazy thing is, is, like, that you learn really quickly that the main guy character, he is actually deaf. And he plays the guitar and he uses his body a lot to feel things and to hear things. Um, and so that was their connection. Like, he had to touch her. He had to, like, you know, lay his head on her to, like, hear her and, like, understand what, like, how she was singing certain things. So, like, it became an intimate thing. And it was, you know, it was, it was really nice to see. But at the same time, it's like, the guy had a girlfriend the whole time they were doing these things. And I'm just like... Like, that's not okay. And, like, they both knew that it wasn't okay. Like, and that was the, you know, it, it, that was the mature thing about it. Like, they both knew that there was another person involved in this thing. And they probably shouldn't be, you know, doing the things that they're doing. But they did them anyway. It's not, it, but it wasn't physical. It was totally emotional. Um, they texted a lot, obviously, because he can't communicate like we do through, um, speaking. He can only communicate through sign or text. So he, um, it was just, it was a beautiful story, honestly, that, you know, how they fell in love and all of that. There was just, yeah, just, that was just the problematic thing that I had. And, you know, 
and it was just so weird because his girlfriend like totally understood where they were coming from it's just like Colleen Hoover has this way of writing a story that there is a difficult element into it but then that difficult element is always resolved peacefully like there's no violence or anything like that i mean granted the main character did punch her ex-boyfriend a couple of times but it was totally worth it you know like it was it was justified so i actually really really enjoyed this book there i hopefully i didn't give you too many spoilers i mean they explain he's deaf pretty early on and the cool thing about this birth this book is that there is an interactive element into it so um colleen hoover actually teamed up with a local musician um and his name is griffin P uh, patterson griffin patterson and they actually wrote the songs that are featured in this book so like the books like the the songs that they wrote together there's an actual album that you can go listen to while they're working on that song which is really cool like i've never seen that happen with a book before like i've always read um books about musicians but i've never read a book about a musician where the author actually got together with the musician to create the music from the novel so that was really cool and then there's also a second book in this um so i'm probably gonna read that after um the newts readathon so this actually completes my exceeding expectations in defense against the dark arts so y'all it's two books down i'm really excited so now I only have to do, um, O, which is, uh, read a book by a British author, um, or takes place in England, and I have, uh, revived by Samantha Toll, and you'll know my obsession with her. So, um, yeah, I'm almost done with defense against the dark arts um so i was not expecting to finish this book in two days you guys like i don't know majority i read majority of it yesterday because i started on page 130 and let me show you where that is in this book so page 130 is chapter 9 there's only like 25 chapter 24 25 chapters um and that's the amount of reading that I read this part right here um that's a lot for me like I don't normally read like 200 plus pages in a day like doesn't happen so this book thoroughly engrossed me it grabbed me from the very first chapter that I started reading it on um Friday and so I actually really enjoyed it and I um kind of sad that it's over but I'm also like oh there's a second book so I can read that um I don't know if I'm gonna get it in paperback because the paperback copy is like $15 so I might just get it on Kindle um which it is part of Kindle Unlimited and I have Kindle Unlimited so that means the second book is free so I don't know why I wouldn't read it for free um and if I do end up loving it then I can always buy a copy of it in the future so with that being said you guys i know that this clip has been a little bit lengthy but um i do have some plans for today i am planning on going over to costco to pick up a few things i do not have any food in this house so i need to get my food and um just get some grocery shopping done um and then i'll probably come back here and just clean because i have not cleaned this apartment in a long time and it's kind of gross so i need to sweep and swiffer and do all sorts of other things um and then maybe i'll sit down and read for a little while but costco doesn't open until 10 so i'm probably gonna read right now um and then do all the things that i need to do so I don't know what I'm planning. I really do need to finish Mustang Sally. So I might do that. I might finish Mustang Sally now. So that means I'll finish another part of my newts. Um, that way I don't have to sit here and not have that done. So I'm going to finish that. Um, and then maybe picked up Revived. Or at least start it. Like read a chapter or two. So I will obviously keep you posted. Um... Today is the last day of the vlog, so I don't know how much um, 
video footage I am going to be getting, but we'll see. So I will definitely see you guys in the next clip. Hey guys, so it is about 5.45 on Sunday. Um, I wanted to give y'all a little bit of an update. Um, I've been running around like nobody's business today. I went to Costco this morning and then after that I had to go to the actual grocery store because there are some things that you cannot buy at Costco. So I did all of that, I came back here and I've just been sitting around doing nothing for the last couple of hours. Although this morning I did end up finishing Mustang Sally, so that is another book off of my newts and that I think um, is for my transfiguration. So I'm done with transfiguration, so that's one element done. But I've also come to the determination that I am not going to finish reading Sea Witch by Sarah Henning. Um, I am just so bored reading that book and I don't know if I can force myself to read it. Like it's just it nothing against Sarah Henning because I've read other books by her. This one is not capturing my attention. And I don't know if it's just because it's like it's just really really slow or if I'm just not interested in it so I'm gonna put it down for now I'm gonna pick something else up in order to meet that criteria because I don't want to not finish my um I think it's acceptable in charms so unfortunately Sea Witch by Sarah Henning is not going to be read this week. I just, I'm, it's, I don't know what to do, guys. This is hard. I like, I, I want to like this book. I really do, but it's just really not grabbing my attention. And I've already been spoiled for it. I already know what's going to happen with this story. So it's not like I don't know what's going to happen. But I just, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not going to finish it and I probably won't ever read it again so um, my new policy <laughs> this year is if I haven't, if I picked up a book, didn't finish it within like a month, then I'm going to either put it down and pick it up later or get rid of it and I don't think I'm ever going to read this book because it is just not capturing my attention and I feel bad because I love the cover like this cover is 100% beautiful like it is so pretty and I love the cover of this book but I can't keep a book just based off of its cover so I don't know if I'll give it a try again if I do I might just get it on Kindle and read it there but I think I'm gonna find a Kindle book to fit that criteria um, and it might just be a smutty book with a hot guy on the cover because those are gorgeous covers. I mean, that's what the criteria says. A book that you think has a gorgeous cover, I mean, if it has a gorgeous man on it, then yeah, it's going to meet that criteria. So um, I might just do that and... Because there was a Kindle book that I was reading and I stopped because I needed to finish or, you know finish my newts um but now that I'm not finishing this one I think I might just finish that one and use it as um that criteria and I believe it's a mob it's like a mafia mob kind of romance book and it's called Damien DeLuca um I don't remember the author off the top of my head but I will insert a um, book cover here so you can see it uh, the cover model is very good looking um, so I think that's what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna use that book to meet the criteria for my acceptable in charms because I don't want to not meet the criteria for this so I'm just gonna change out the book I don't and this is going to go in my own haul pile for now. Um, so 
with that being said i have not read anything else besides M the end of mustang sally i am going to be picking up revived here pretty soon um because it, it looks like a pretty short book and i'm hopefully going to get through at least majority majority of it today and if not then at least i'll have a little bit of a head start for this coming week but um with that being said i think I'm going to go for now and then do a final update later um, and then just end the vlog because this one's probably going to be long and it's going to take me a long time to edit and I'll have to do that tomorrow because I have to work on Tuesday night. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to stop rambling because I'm sure this clip is like five minutes long now um, and I will talk to you guys later. Hi friends, so it's only been about an hour since I last updated you, but I wanted to uh, kind of clear some things up a little bit um so i've decided that i'm actually going to be changing another book on my tbr um there is a book my mom recommended to recommended it to me um for my let me see what it was for for my a in potions which is read your friend's favorite book um i've changed it uh from silent honor by danielle Steele, which is a historical fiction type book um i don't want to cry so i'm not gonna read that so instead i had my best friend amanda give me a book recommendation and she recommended to me addicted to you by krista and becca ritchie so i'm gonna read that um i'm only gonna read the first book even though it's like a full-on series so i'm gonna read the first book see if i like it and if i do end up liking it then i will continue on with the series so that's gonna be changed um and then secondly uh i was wrong about this book here <laughs> so this is revived by samantha toll um this is the second book in the revved series um it's kind of a duology but there it's totally different characters from the first book to the second book so this book here is about leandra silva um who at the end of the first book gets in a really bad car accident when he's racing um and he goes through all of this physical therapy and whatnot and so this book is about his story um about his mental state so physically he's fine to race mentally he's scared out of his mind so this that's what this book is about and this book is basically taking place in england for some reason i thought it was going to be taking pl place in brazil but it's not um even though because leandro silva is the character is, himself is from brazil so that's why i was like okay wait then the book has to be taking place in, but it's not it is taking place in england mainly L london and um a little bit of um, Hungary, uh, Italy, and I think there's one other place that they travel because he's a Formula One driver. Um, they do travel to these other places. So this is taking place in a lot of different countries, but mainly taking place in London. Um, I think even, um, I think I saw Birmingham in here. I could be totally off on that. Let me see, hold on. Banbury, sorry, not Birmingham, Banbury. Um, so this is really good so far, literally like 15 pages in. They haven't even met each other yet. We're just going through the prologues. Um, so I, that's all I really wanted to do because I did want to give you an update on my TBR. I am changing it. So um, anyway, I'm going to get back to reading now. Um, and hopefully I'll get a little bit more into Revived and maybe I will read my other Kindle book that I plan on reading. So I've got lots of things going on. <laughs> I am determined to finish my Newt's TBR because I did not do really good in my first week. So now I'm trying to make up for it by um, doing pretty much everything in the second half of the month. But yeah, so I've got plans which includes a lot of different things, but I'll go into further detail at the beginning of my next week's vlog, and maybe I will do an update at the end of this vlog, that way you guys know what's gonna be happening in next week's vlog. So, with that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so it is now the next day after the vlog has ended, 
and I wanted to give you an update or do a recap of what I've read this week. Um, I'm really proud of myself, y'all, because I didn't think I was going to read as much as I have, and I read a lot. So let's just go through a couple of things. So I read the last 600 plus pages of Kingdom of Ash this week. I listened to it on audiobook. I love Elizabeth, who is the author, who is the um, narrator for the Audible books. I really, really love her. So, and she put a like she put a voice to the book, and I loved it. Um, so, highly recommend that. So, I read like 600 plus pages of that. Um, I started and finished, maybe someday, uh, in less than 24 hours. I loved this book, you guys. It was so good. It was very interactive. Um, parts of this book, there are songs in it, and you can actually go on YouTube and listen to the soundtrack for this book, which is pretty cool. So it kind of brings the story to life and brings the book to life and the music and all of that. So this one was really, really good. I loved this book. Um... I also read the last like 25% of Mustang Sally. I skimmed like the remainder because I just cannot handle that. It was just very unrealistic and I just couldn't really read something that I didn't think was ever going to happen. So I just moved on. I finished it. I pushed through. Um, so that one is done. Um, and last night I ended up reading 109 pages of Revived by Samantha Toll. So all in all, you guys, I read I think over a thousand pages. Um, if I didn't, it's very close to it. So I'm really proud of myself. Um, I didn't think I was going to read that many pages this week. Um, and I'm already starting uh, for next week's vlog. So I'm really excited. So I am hopefully going to be able to finish all of these newts requirements and actually complete a readathon. It would be the first for my channel, so I'm really excited. So with that being said, you guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. It's probably a long one, um, and it's probably going to be a bitch to edit, but you know what? Oh, well, it is what it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I will see you in my next one.